well, what's going on guys? I have a Mac app review coming at you today and it's going to be about all these different little menus up here. I get frequent questions on this and so I'm going to take you just through a quick walkthrough of what this app is. It's called iStat Menus. There's a link right in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out. But so I'm just going to very quickly walk you through it. Of course when I say very quickly it's probably going to be like a 5 to 10 minute video. But we'll do this as fast as we can. So as you can see here's the actual interface right here. It all comes up as a menu and these are all customizable on the fly. So say for example I want to have my network uh, monitored. As you can see coming up here it actually creates that new menu and it shows my upload and download speeds. Not really my speeds but just the information that's being uploaded and downloaded to and from my machine. So coming back up here we, we can monitor CPU usage, memory usage, disk usage, disk activity which actually show when your disk is being read or read and written to and from. Your network, obviously I just showed you that up here. Uh, sensors, date and time. Uh, sensors obviously being the actual temperatures of certain things in your computer such as my CPU it's a quad core so each core has its own temperature the ambient temperature of my case like the temperature inside of my case uh, heat sink or my hard drive temperatures uh, I'll get more into that later date and time I don't really see the purpose for this because I have my date and time right here if I click on it it's just right there no problems uh, my battery that's for my um, magic mouse my trackpad and my Apple keyboard so that shows my battery usage right there very cool but so I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you guys through a few of these settings so say for example in CPU right now I have it updating every second so if I were to click here this will shift over every second and it shows uh, where my CPU is at every single second I can change this to every up to 10 seconds and as you see this will sort of look like it's frozen but it'll only move over a little bit every 10 seconds so I like to have mine up to date I don't go too overkill have it like every half a second uh, but I do like to have it around one second. I mean, that's where I usually keep all of my um, I stats, I guess you could say. Now, as you can see, I have each. I have eight cores. Well, four cores, eight threads. I have a core i7. So as you can see, there's eight, and I also have all eight up here. So if I wanted to, just to save many bar space, maybe I don't have a nice big monitor, I could just check this, and now it combines all those into one item. And but if I click it, I get more information. And that's the same way with all these. Here's my um, hard drive, all my different disks. Yeah, it labels how full each of them is. Memory tells how much memory I have. And with both uh, CPU and memory, it actually shows the top five apps that are using the most. So as you can see, the web process, that's uh, more than likely just like the Flash plugin in my web browser, probably a YouTube page being loaded up or something. Uh, CPU, obviously my screen flow, that's where I'm using to record this video. That's eating up the most CPU. Uh, but as you can see, this is all real time. It changes every second, so these are all constantly moving. I also have my Time Machine backup. That's what this backup D is. You can see that's going up here. And now this menu can be sort of confusing. Um, since I have eight cores, each of these can be maxed out, which means that each core can have 100%. So therefore, if my CPU is being maxed fully, it would show up down here as 800%, not 100. Now, now all these things can be highly customizable. Uh, as you can see, I have different colors going up here. I'm going to change this back to eight cores. But as you can see, I have different colors. I have red for this, sort of like a purple pink for this up here, a darker blue for this. That's all easily changed just by simply clicking this and then changing the color as you would like it. So I could go like a darker red for my CPU usage, or I could even go like a green. I can go anything, even just straight black if I really wanted to. It actually doesn't look too bad, but I'll, I'll keep it red. But so you can change these however you want. As you can see, uh, if I actually change it, they all update up there like on the fly. So it's all real time. Very nice. It's a very real time oriented application. Everything you see is pretty much what's going on right now up to the second. So it's very, very nice to have. And I don't think a lot of people know this, but another way that you can actually check your CPU usage is actually to open up Activity Monitor. And as you can see CPU right here, if you double click this, you can actually get sort of like a, a graph here. But this just doesn't do it for me. This also is sort of like a Vista gadget or something like for Windows, Windows 7 or something. I can just uh, sort of have this up there, close this. And I could just have my CPU activity here, but that just takes up screen real estate. It doesn't look nice. So that's one other thing that I really like about this application. It's out of the way. The menu bar is always here anyway. So this just stays out of the way. And you can also get lots of useful information that isn't there when you don't need it to be. So this is sort of a no-go for me. I don't like that. However, with Activity Monitor, you can also um, monitor your system memory usage, your disk activity, your disk usage. 
and your actually your network speeds. So um, iStat Menus does all of this these things, and this is a built-in application to every OS 10 machine. However, that's just not a very efficient way. If, if I just want to get like a quick look at this stuff, I can. Do, it's as simple as coming up here, clicking, and seeing what's going on. If something's eating a lot of memory, I can say, "What's eating all my memory?" And I can actually get an application layout of what is. And then I can open up Activity Monitor, find that process, and then quit it. So these two work great together. Not a lot of people might uh, might not realize that. iStat Menus just does an absolute great way of just presenting this information to you in a nice and efficient manner. And it's highly customizable. Like I said, you can change all these colors. You can have them all be the same if you want. I just like to have a nice uh, colors color scheme. Like red is CPU usage. I don't know. I just sort of associate those colors in my mind. However, there's many different things you can do with this application. I'm not going to walk you through all of them, but um, even just for example, I can change this to Fahrenheit if I want to. And there we go. My uh, ambient, actually my CPU A is 106 degrees Fahrenheit. So not too bad there actually. It's only about 30 degrees above room temperature. But it, um, also I can have CPU B simply by adding it there. Now I have two CPU temperatures up there. So I could actually have my ambient. So now I have my ambient, which is obviously higher. And if I want to remove them, it's as simple as highlighting them and hitting the delete key. And there you go. So before I ramble anymore, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this helped you. I hope that answered some questions. I actually have their webpage pulled up right here. Definitely check them out. Uh, I think it's called, they're pronounced the Bajango. I'm not quite sure, but I mean, 16 bucks for this app. I really don't think that's too bad. It, uh, it just, it offers a lot of functionality, whether you're on a Hackintosh or a legit Mac. Uh, it's definitely just a no-brainer in my mind. It's an application that I absolutely love to have, and one. It's probably the first application I install on every like every single time I do a fresh installation. I simply can't live without this, and I think that you'll also feel the same way once you install it. So, like I said, I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. If you have any questions, please feel free to give this video a nice thumbs up. It really helps me out. And before I ramble anymore, thank you guys for watching.